Billy the Artist here. Today we are going to be disgusted with drawing. Anyway, we are going to do disgust from inside out. We have dealt with your fear of drawing, how you can sometimes get sad when you're drawing, sometimes your drawing can lead you to anger, and how to cope with that when you're having the mistakes. But ultimately, I want you to have joy. All these how to draw videos are back in the playlist on how to draw. Go back and check them out. There's the little time lapses as well. And I do want you to have joy from drawing. And so this is also the techniques that are in here are in these drawings here. So everything that I do using boxes and shapes, and there's quite a few in this drawing that we're going to do today of disgust, I'm going to knock them up very, very quickly. All the boxes and shapes, circles and squares and triangles. So even here on this rigging, there's triangles. It's how I build up a drawing very, very quickly. So even things like this little lighting unit, this LED lighting unit, this is at the Fusion Festival in Birmingham with Capital FM backstage. And this was drawing Sigma with Alla Henderson as they were performing. And this was Clean Bandit. And this was Labyrinth. And then finally, this was Rudimental and all 10 of them on stage going absolutely bonkers. I've put a little video up of each of these drawings they're only about 90 seconds long each video so you can actually see the full drawing in detail and you can see the band actually performing while i'm actually drawing backstage and i use the techniques that i put in these how to draw videos in these quick drawings so anyway go check them out as well please do like and subscribe and you'll get all the new how to draw videos here we have oh, from my previous one it needs sharpening my trusted 2b pencil so there we go, it's just sharpened. That's my desk sharpener. You can get electric ones or you can just use normal ones. But that's been a trusty little friend for a long time, so I'll carry on using him. But today we are going to use Disgust and we are going to be disgusted with drawing. And she is green. So I'm going to put, like I did on one of the previous ones, it was on sadness. I put the square the cross down the center of the page you can just see that it's quite light but i'll do darker lines as we go on so that you can actually see and we'll just put some marks on very quickly so just up is going to be the bottom of a head bottom of a chin just under the top of the paper needs to be the top of a head and again the same kind just to the right so if we just put a big box in there and then a shape underneath and the nose is again we've got a cross in there nose is going to come in just to the right just putting these shapes in very quickly helps you to build up her body so if we put another box in that just comes underneath that's going to be a top part of a torso. And then we put another box in that will come down there. That'll be a skirt. And then the skirt has just got diagonals coming out. So you've got a bit of a triangle going on for the body. And her arm is going to come across. And her right hand goes up into her hair, which is underneath her chin. And then just dead on the centre line is a little foot. So you've got a triangle for a foot. And then a bit of a cone for a leg. And then the same thing for the right leg. Foot is going to come out. And it about matches where the edge of a hair will go. So you want a little shape for a foot and then another cone going up for that leg there. And then a green tight go on. So very simply just using boxes and circles just like in those drawings backstage. <clears throat> I've got the basics down now for my drawing of disgust and we just need to add some extra little details in quite quickly where her eyes are going to go so hairline she's got quite a furrowed brow that eyebrow is quite raised great expressions this eyebrow is a bit lower and if you draw 
almost like a pair of glasses boxes for where her eyes are going to go then because you've got the top of her eyelid and then you've got the bottom of her eye and then you've got where her eye shadow is on that line that will help you in your placing and then a full eye which is half of it is underneath to create the expression of I'm not impressed with you is underneath that eyebrow again you can then put the curve in for the bottom part of the egg shape of her eye but a top part doesn't match it's a little bit square going right the way over so now that's you know that's going to go underneath the hair and there's a bit of an angle going up on a kind of eyelash part and then she's got these huge eyelashes that come out but they just come out from the corner so one's going to go to the part of a he head and hairline one's going to go there one's going to come past out that one's going to go right out and then the bottom one is in line with the second one that comes over again i'm doing the curve using the shape of my wrist on the inside and this one her eye is coming out so we need to get the shape of the underneath of her eye but her eyelashes are coming out through her hair which is going to come down and we can start to get the shape up of her hair the kick of her hair at the back off to the side where her hand is and then the shape of a cheek coming down off her eye and that comes down straight to where her neck is but her eye on this side is quite close in to her nose again a nose is quite a little pointed blunt thing and then the shape of her mouth is just great it's just like quite a bendy yeah. M. it's like mm, I'm not impressed I'm in fat disgusted so there you have the basics of the outline coming together quite quickly just by using the shapes using these reference points to build up your drawing so now we know that hair is coming down to there and that's going to go over a cheek and again just to match that up her eyelash is coming right out and then that one comes back that comes out from underneath her eye so now we can get the rest of the details up down on the drawing and then we can shade it in quite quickly so we've got just a simple shape round for the knot the bow is going to come out to where the hair is so you can just draw that bow like leaves just think of a couple of leaves and then the shape of her hair coming out here they go behind her eyelashes and it just waves and then you get a little couple of points and it's going to be darker behind there and then where the part is the top point is there so make sure your line follows that kind of curve and then again follow the hair where it comes over the front of her face so 
So that you've got the face and the shape in quite quickly. So now if we get the rest of the lips, it's quite a tears character, it's just great. Just the look on her face is wonderful. So there's a mouth down and then and she's got flushed cheeks. She is disgusted with everything all the time. So now we get the shape of her body. So you've got a simple V to the neckline, right shoulder, and then the shape of her dress, and then her arm, right or left arm on your right hand side of the paper is Quite a nice line. And then a forearm with a hand going underneath this elbow. A little bit of a belt bucket, bu bucket, buckle, a D. You can just got the top of the D there for disgust, obviously. I think her name's delightful, really. And then Imagine you've got the front of her arm, a forearm for this left arm. Do that first, coming down, then you can get the elbow. And then you can just draw the shoulder behind. And you've got that shape in the background. So you imagine a cylinder on that bit. A shoulder is coming down, and then you've got another cylinder going up. Do that off the page. Let's draw this on the page. You've got a cylinder coming down for her arm and then another cylinder going up but if you draw the one in front first and then just put the drawing on the line of the shoulder on behind afterwards makes it easier and you'll not be upset angry or frustrated or disgusted with your drawing shape of a thumb and a hand coming down and then you want the hair little bit So now you've got the back of the skirt. A skirt is just, so from this pleat coming down, you've got a nice rectangle. And then you've got a short triangle for that back part. And then this one, you've got another larger triangle. Just draw the line going in. And the same, but you've got a little bit of a curve on that one when it comes over a right leg. And then where the green tights come down, just underneath the pleat in the skirt, and then coming down to a foot. And the shape of a little tiny shoes. I'm just going to sharpen the pencil again. And then you need a left leg coming down just to the right of the center line and the curve underneath and the leg can come over in fact that can come over quite a bit more and then a little dainty shoes the heel at the back Again, just thinking of shapes, you've got the back of that heel, you've got a triangle coming down. And then the heel is just a bit of a thicker line. And then just curve it round the front where it goes over a toes. So there you have the outline for Discuss Down very, very quickly. And now I'm going to use my 4B because it's a bit softer. Now a face <coughs> is much lighter than everything else. The dress is a bit of a mid-tone. So if I just put a very quick bit of shading down, and now we did in the previous drawings, if you use a tissue that's already got a pencil on, you can use that as a drawing tool. So if you just put a light mid-tone down all the way, put a hand in, and then you use your putty rubber you, know, you could erase off these construction lines if you want as well. But if you just use your putty rubber, you can put the highlights in. 
And don't be afraid to go over the lines. When you're drawing for fun, you've not got to do really detailed technical stuff all the time. And that's the point of drawing for fun. Now, the shade on her eyes isn't too dark on this eye, but it is on this side. So I'm leaving the pupils till the end and then it'll just jump out in a second. Shadow light's coming from this direction. So if you can press on harder down one side, then that's a bonus. And again, you can push that into a point or you can get one of these smudges. And again, if there's dirt already on your smudgy, you can use that as a drawing tool, which for the shading on these kind of curved limbs is really nice. So I say that hand going underneath on that side of her arm. So your actual smudging, and in my absolute basics, the links are in the cards, the YouTube cards above, and in the description for this how to draw video. Part one shows you the, the shapes and then part two go, deals with shading, including using these things, as well as your finger and other bits and pieces. But these are such a valuable, same with a piece of kitchen roll, such a valuable drawing tool. It gives you extra tools for your drawing. So here I'm using the side. And getting the shadow underneath her eye. I can just hear my daughter turning up on a motorcycle. Yes, that's my daughter turning up on her motorcycle. Check out her YouTube channel, uh, Pinky Doodly. Pinky with a Y, Doodly, as in drawing the doodles that we are doing. And she does flute and mo Hello again, and we're back, and I am disgusted because I let the battery run out on my filming yesterday as I was talking about Pinky Doodly. Anyway, let's get back into drawing Disgusted from Inside Out, and we were using the smudger stick, and we were just putting shadows down on. As I say, I was uh, on her body and on her arms and legs and things, so use the smudger stick to help you in your drawing. But as I was saying, I was talking about, because I don't know if you could hear in the background on the actual video clip, my daughter came back on her motorcycle, Pinky Doodly. Check out her YouTube channel. She does, uh, not only does she ride a motorbike, she does flip playing and all kinds of different bits and pieces and just generally waffles in a Pinky Doodly kind of way. But the wife, the beautiful lady wife, went out on the back with the daughter on her motorcycle for a bit of a blip and a ride. She was down in London for some big moto vloggers kind of meet at the weekend. Anyway, you'll find out more on Pinky Doodly's channel, the links in the cards in this video, but we are drawing our disgusted character from inside out. So I'm using the smudger to actually fill in the extra bits as well of the, the lighter colors. It's gonna be darker where the hair is, so you can just utilize this or your kitchen roll for the actual toning using it as a drawing, just like a pencil. Because once it's dirty, you know, kind of, that's a bit out of focus, but you can see that that's dirty in comparison to the clean bit down there. Uh, so you can use that just as drawing as you can with the trusty pencil. Anyway, back now, this is a 4B, and we are going to whack in her eyes, just to get a bit of a darker, 8B is the softest, and if you press on really hard with an 8B, then you get very, very, very black tones. And that's what I use. And I like, I don't try and do it so as it's flat. I like, in my drawings, the actual feel and texture of the lines almost scratching into the paper. Again, that's a personal preference. So here, where the hair flicks out, we need it to be darker and I'm using the side of the pencil again going in the direction of the hair coming down underneath the side of a left cheek in the background again you can smudge that a little bit if you want and then a the hair coming down the side is a little bit lighter and again if you're using pencil crayons as I said 
you can now get these kind of ink gel pens that are absolutely lovely uh, to put on the spot and you can get them in all different colors and you can even get uh, I mean I know I've got one I've got this gold here uh, a gold paint pen with metal in so all the lovely sparkly bits you can actually recreate now when I was a kid at uh, high school and, and school and even art college these kind of drawing pieces of equipment that you've now got access to just didn't even exist and, and so I say I grew up in the 1970s and 1980s and so we just had the very simple limited range of products of, of pencil crayons pastels some felt tip pens designer markers graphics markers uh, Pantone colours and things like that and Crayola wax crayons and then we had watercolour gouache acrylics or oils the level and amount of variety in artistic equipment that you can now get you know going to any of your local art stores if you've still got one open near you or online because uh, I know our local shop Webley's is closing in Hanley it's been there for over a hundred years and the brothers who own it now are retiring and there's no one to take over this massive business that is a bookstore with an art department in but that's the thing that's changed the internet has changed everything you're able to actually watch me doing this tutorial which is lovely so wherever you get your art materials from experiment find out what you're comfortable with uh, but again I just want to show you the basics so we're quickly whacking hair in it's a bit darker down this side and remember her eyelashes come through but you can draw through the eyelashes that you've put on at first she's a bit disgusted that I'm drawing through her eyelashes but we can pick them up with any razor putty rubber in a moment I mean that's the other thing where is it oh it's here I can't use it now this there's the cover in the case this is a battery powered eraser now I can't use it you can hear it clicking but it's not working I can't use it because I have no batteries because my kids who are young adults now including Pinky Doodly uh, the remote control for the TV PlayStation all that kind of gubbins wasn't working and my batteries are gone but again using this eraser it kind of goes meh and buzzes and you can use a powered eraser and they didn't exist when I was at high school either and just amazing developments and little technology that give you more scope and more capability as an artist so I'm just drawing on her eyes her eyelashes her eyebrow now needs picking up again the shape kind of going down adds to that disgusted look we now need to do her iris so again working from the inside out from the pupil to the edge of the iris and then make it a bit darker at the edge and that's a quick way of creating the iris I might one day in between all the characters and everything I might do just a detailed drawing of an eye and a pupil and an iris and spend a bit of time spend a few hours on it which would be quite nice I have missed this is where I could do with the actual battery powered eraser and it's not working because I haven't got any batteries ah oh, there we go I've actually drawn over the highlight again you can pick that out with a bit of white paint or one of these white gel pens to make that stand out and her iris is really dark I need to pick up her eye shadow on her eyelid and her eye brow up on the top is quite high up so if we accentuate that and just show it sticking through hair a little bit and then if we show that picking up 
So now, again, just use either your finger or a smudging tool or your actual bit of kitchen roll. If we smooth the hair down again, and then use the putty rubber just to put some highlights on very quickly. Again, imagine your brushing going in the direction of a hair. And there's the full drawing of Jenna Coleman, who was Clara Oswald in BBC's Doctor Who science fiction series. Uh, there's a full drawing on there of a full portrait time lapse on my YouTube channel in the drawings and paintings playlist. So if you check that out, I'll put the description in the video link underneath. Then you'll actually see that drawing of, of full hair done over a long period of time. And I've now picked up my 2B pencil, putting a bit of detail back on the hand. Now we need to just develop the lips. The top lip is more shadowed and the highlights on the bottom lip. It's got a bit of shadow underneath the bottom lip and then coming down the side of her face you've got a bit of a highlight and a bit of an extra shadow underneath the chin. So we just put a bit of extra <sighs> colour in down the side of her nose. Again use your kitchen roll or your smudger to really smooth that down and you've got coming off the side of her eye and then use your putty rubber to pick out the highlights on her face over the top of her lip side of her nose coming up underneath her eye a left cheek standing out and underneath her right eye little bits on the top and so that gives her face a lot more three-dimensional quality so now very quickly we're going to get a dress done and this is where you could use a colored pencil or that paint because the actual pattern like we did with joy when we drew Joy, Joy's pattern on a dress, we used the eraser because they were like little stars and they were very, very simple to erase out because they were just straight lines. They are much easier than <clears throat> we have on this dress because these are all wiggly kind of plants. And so you can either use a white pencil crayon or try and erase it out again using your putty rubber. Now underneath her arm there's a shadow, down the side of her body you've got the shadow, and down the side of this pleat you've got a shadow, just to give the kind of three dimensional qualities. And the green underneath on the tights, on the legs underneath the skirt are a bit darker. Again we could pick that up and just smooth that down. just to develop the tone and don't press on as hard on the lighter areas and then a kind of neck kerchief that comes around is darker you can obviously see through where a hair is it's darker where that happens so use your smudger tool or you can put some extra color in need a bit extra on that so side of your pencil this is the 2B, let's get the softer 4B. You want the side of a neck. That's a bit softer and nicer. And then smudge that with your smudging tool to indicate some form and kind of crease in the neck kerchief that disgust has got on. And then pick out some highlights with your putty rubber. And the highlight on the neck on the top of his shoulder coming down and that just makes that stand out and have that transparent color so again just draw over the top and indicate very quickly and simply 
But here, we're going to darken down the D on the badge, on the belt buckle. And she's got two tiny little highlights on the side. But I am just going to indicate these wobbly flower kind of lines on a dress just to make them stand out. I'm going to use my cleaner putty rubber because that's a bit sh I can get that a bit sharper. She's got two, there's like a blue and a very light green one. So using the rubber you just draw, pinch it into a shape into a point at the end. You can see I'm just really pinching it up into a sharper point at the end and then I'm just drawing the little petal shapes using the eraser indicating the actual floral pattern on a dress. Now again you could use a pencil crayon or one of these gel pens put the pattern on and I'm not slavishly copying as many as are on dress I'm just giving an impression so that you know that the petals are on there and it makes it look like her dress because I'm just doing this very quickly to help and encourage you to get your drawing up to speed with the basics techniques. Now again do remember that in the description below is the how to draw anything part one and part two the shading and they cover all the absolute fundamental basics and then I do these kind of drawing videos just to show you those techniques very quickly and then you see in my full drawing time lapses the actual techniques used for my high-end art but I just have such fun in doing these videos to encourage you because it keeps me on my toes doing fun art and reminds me why I actually got into drawing and painting. Oh and there's my phone going off. Hello back again just to finish off I'm putting the petals on. Yes I'm disgusted with how I forgot to actually turn the ringer off on my phone. I don't even know I put my mobile on silent. There was a ping of an email landing and put the speakers on silent on my computer so oh what a fantastic fun time about doing this now again on a leg coming down i'll use the slightly dirtier putty rubber just put a highlight down the center just wipe off a little bit of the pencil smudge that back down a bit just to build the tone down tone it down a little bit and you've got all the three-dimensional quality again the highlight off a wrist coming off here is reflected underneath the chin a lot stronger and again on this side down this side of the cheek and that there you have disgust I hope you've enjoyed that it's been quite an eventful video I have really enjoyed doing this again with the pencils and, and the smudger and all these kind of things the putty rubbers but these are the simple techniques I hope you've enjoyed all of my inside out characters like I say we've done sadness we've done anger we've done fear and we've got joy and slap bang in the middle we have the final one which is disgust anyway I hope that this has encouraged you to just get on with your drawing please do like and subscribe and you can check out all the videos from the inside out and all the other characters that i've done and all my other art videos thanks very much for your time enjoy your drawing see you again soon ta -da.